What up, YouTube? So today, we are going to be reacting to Wade Wilson before they were famous. And the video is titled, Wade Wilson, Deadpool Killer Who Became Unlikely Heartthrob Before They Were Famous. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get right into this reaction video. Hey guys, welcome to Before They Were Famous. Before becoming infamous as a Deadpool killer in the media. Do you want to address the court or not? Not today. Later, you. when I come back, I will. Before Matt being sentenced bad. to life in prison. Nothing in defendant's background or mental state would suggest that a death sentence is inappropriate. Before a series of troubling incidents that would lead to his arrest and conviction. Before he charmed and tricked multiple women globally who are still falling for it to this day. What happens when a troubled past meets a life of crime? Meet Wade Wilson, infamously dubbed the Deadpool Killer, sentenced to life in prison. He unexpectedly became a social media sensation, captivating audiences that clearly don't care he took the life of two innocent people. First degree murder of Christine Melton, Diane Ruiz. Let's explore the shocking journey of Wade Wilson, where darkness and unexpected fame collide. I'm Jessica Chinking, and this is Before They Were Famous. We want to bring back the community on this channel. We have giveaways and contests coming soon. For now, let us know in the comments who to do next. And if we pick yours, we will shout you out. Now let's get into the video. Yo, shout out to Before They Were Famous. That's a good channel. I haven't watched anything from them for a while. I guess maybe they, they haven't been posting or whatever. But they're based out of Toronto, I think. Anyways, go, go give them a, a subscription. You know, they got good content over there. Video. Wade Wilson was born on May 20th, 1994, and he grew up in Tallahassee, Florida. Adopted at a young age, Wade's early life was marked by instability and challenges. Growing up in Tallahassee, he attended Childs High School, where he struggled with behavioral issues. From an early age, Wade exhibited signs of trouble. Wade Wilson killed two women, Christine Melton and Diane Ruiz. In high school, Wade was known to be charismatic often able to charm those around him. He was notorious for using and charming women. He was seen from a young age as a lady killer, not yet literally, but beneath the surface, his life was spiraling. Instead of focusing on academics or making friends, he found himself gravitating towards risky behavior. Starting in 2012, he began to accumulate a significant history of arrests in Leon County, Florida. 29-year-old Wade Wilson, he faces multiple charges, including two counts of first-degree murder. According to reports from the Tallahassee Democrat, his criminal record set the stage for a life marked by violence and chaos. Wade was incarcerated in the Florida Department of Corrections on burglary and grand theft convictions from November 26, 2013 to September 19, 2014, and later served another sentence for firearms from October 17, 2017. Wait, he did a, a case for firearms? I, I did not know that. Did y'all know that? That's crazy. To July 15th, 2018. In 2015, things took a serious turn when he was charged with other crimes in Tallahassee. However, he was acquitted at trial, providing him with a brief moment of relief, but also setting a precedent for the troubled path he continued down. In 2018, he became a person of interest in the Tallahassee murder conspiracy regarding the death of Mike Williams, but he was never charged in that case. Obviously, people are still thinking of this. So wait, is this real? He had gun charges and he was possibly involved in a, in, in a offing conspiracy are we serious right now yo that's crazy that is crazy this till this day then came february 2019 when a woman reported to the palm beach county sheriff's office that wade wilson her ex-boyfriend had physically harmed and threatened her However, authorities did not find enough evidence to arrest him. It seemed that Wade was always slipping through the cracks of the justice system, but his luck was about to run out. Now, before I continue, I just want to say, like, a lot of us didn't have it easy growing up. You can either push through and strive to get out of a bad situation, but you never have an excuse to hurt or harm other people. And the people right. saying he should be free just because he's good looking? Shame on you, really. Please, let's remember that he took the life of two people, maybe more. On October 7th, 2019, Wade met Christine Melton and her friend Stephanie Sailors at Buddha Live, a popular bar in Fort Myers. They shared laughs and drank, seemingly having a great time. But when the bar closed, the group headed to the home of Jason Shepard, where they stayed for a few hours. 
It was that night that stuff began to go haywire. The fun continued at Melton's Cape Coral home where things would take a sinister turn once sailors left the scene. In a shocking and horrific act, Wade harmed Melton while she slept in her bed. The motivations behind this violent act remain unclear, but it left the community in disbelief. Afterwards, he took her car as if trying to erase any trace of what he'd done, but this was just the beginning of his violent spree. Shortly after committing this terrible crime, Wade encountered Diane Ruiz walking along a Cape Coral street. He asked her for directions and lured her into his car. Before I continue, if you have a soft heart, if you don't do well with details of violence, please just skip the next minute of this video because it is disturbing. When Diane tried to exit, the situation escalated rapidly. Wade attacked her, causing her serious harm before pushing her out of the car and running over her multiple times. This shocking display of violence not only claimed two lives, but also left a community destroyed, scared, and shattered. And just when you think it can't get any more chilling, the story takes another twist. After the incidents, Wade called his biological father several times, confessing to the details of his actions. Initially dismissing these calls as fabrications of the whims of a good storyteller, his dad soon realized the seriousness of the situation. His dad realized that he was actually telling the truth. And with his wife listening in, they decided to call the police. His father ended up asking Wade for his location, pretending to offer support while letting the cops know exactly where he was. On October 8th, 2019... I gotta say, if he didn't do that, like, this, like, the situation with Wade ended really bad, but it could have definitely ended worse because, like, first of all, that house, like, he busted into a house and that's where the police caught him. He's, like, wearing their clothes and stuff. Those people weren't home. Imagine what he would have done to them if they were home. And then the other thing is nobody knew where Wade was other than his dad figuring out and like luring, like, um, what do you, how do you say it? Like basically luring him out and like getting the cops to where he is or whatever. Uh, I said pretty horribly. Um, he could have gone on doing the same thing for a lot longer. Like he could have gone on a spree for, for days, weeks, who knows? Right. If his dad didn't do that, that, Shout out to Papa Steve, because that's like, without that, you know, it, it could have been really bad. And thank the Lord those people weren't at their house, because Lord only knows what this man would have done to them. Law enforcement arrested Wade at an unoccupied home that he had broken into. His reign of terror was finally over. On October 15th, 2020, Wade Wilson was sentenced to life in prison for his crimes. The sentence marked a tragic end to a life filled with turmoil and violence. The media soon called him the Deadpool Killer, a chilling nickname that arose from a shared name with a Marvel character better known as Deadpool. Not to mention, during his time in jail, he's just been doing the same thing, charming women, promising them marriage, laughing and joking as if he didn't just take lives. Despite the gravity of his actions, people became obsessed with Wade because of the way he looked. A lot of social media users find him attractive, and his image started to circulate online, even going viral on TikTok. This unexpected twist in his narrative turned him into an unlikely heartthrob. People are so weird, though. This also happened with Jeffrey Dahmer. It happened with many other serial killers, Ted Bundy. People find them good looking. I don't know. They have a whole fan base of people that seem to love them despite the horrible things that they do. As it stands today, if he loses... It is a really weird thing in society because it, it's like, it's not uncommon what, ha it's not super common, but it's not unheard of what happened with Wade and these girls, right? I don't know exactly what it is because there's lots of other people who do what Wade did and this doesn't happen to them. I think it has something to do with the looks. Um, definitely there's the social media aspect. Um, there's the, I don't know, some people think, for some bizarre reason, they're innocent. And I think it's just people like wanting something they can't have and like obsessing with them like he's a celebrity. It's like when you go and you're watching someone's content every day and like hearing about them and like thinking about them, you can get into some dark places, especially like for the people who listen to the calls for that he has from jail. You know, like these women that talk to him they really sound like desperate in a lot of ways. A lot of them, you know, some of them just want his money, but a lot of them are desperate and it's crazy. And for those of you that don't listen to all the calls, he's raised about a hundred thousand dollars in donations um, in the last little while off of people who, who think he's innocent. There's a whole cult following of people on TikTok and Facebook and places like 
trying to make videos to get them free. Listen, the, the videos are a stretch and they're a bit ridiculous. They say things like, oh, um, that police officer licked their lips while uh, testifying and moved in their chair. So they're definitely lying. I mean, that's about the level of logic for those of you who haven't seen it. And that's like, that's a literal qu quote. Okay. But it's just insane, but it's not unheard of. Like this happens pretty commonly. And I mean, it's, it's like, the same type of people, like women that are unsatisfied with their lives, you know. And for those of you who know, you know about Daddy Joey. But there's also, uh, you know, so swinging the other way and a lot of crazy phone calls. So anyone's enjoying this video, you can go ahead and watch my other reactions to the phone calls. Anyways, let's get back into this reaction. All appeals and is denied clemency by governor. He could face execution once a death warrant is issued. Wade's story serves a chilling reminder of how a troubled upbringing and a series of poor choices can lead to unimaginable consequences. Thank you for watching. What do you think of all this? Does he deserve the death penalty? Comment down below. All right, guys, as you know, before they're famous, they've partnered with Mogul Productions, which is allowing you access to Hollywood events and film sets. Okay, sorry, I don't I don't want to hear the rad. We're gonna just skip that. Um Yeah, I mean Shout, shout out to Before They Were Famous. This was a good video. I think it was smart for them to hit Wade Wilson because it's a very popping viral topic right now. But um, yeah, so there were some details in here that I didn't know. I don't think I've heard of that before. I'll have to look in deeper and see if they're accurate. Him possibly being involved in the M-word conspiracy. You know, I can't say the full thing here. Um, having weapons charges for firearms. Um, I didn't... I, Maybe I had heard that at some point, but I feel like I would have remembered that. So it's it's honestly a bit crazy to me that that I don't think I've heard that. And if that stuff's true, like I really stand on the point that this was Wade. He fell through the cracks of the justice system, and it should have never gotten to this point. Like maybe it's happened before, and I think we're we're very very lucky that it wasn't worse than what we ended up getting. You know. Anyways, let me know your opinions down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out.